Hi there and welcome to today's tutorial on uh, ocean currents. Um, so looking at the Earth's atmosphere and we're going to look at uh, ocean currents in today's tutorial. Uh, please remember to check out our website examinevision.ie, subscribe to our YouTube channel and you can follow us on Twitter and Instagram for all the latest news. So ocean currents. Um, for the junior certificate examination there's a few things that you need to know um, with, with regards to ocean currents, I'm going to show you the few things that you need to know now. Okay, so this map here shows us the map of the world and it shows us all the different ocean currents that we get. Um, okay, firstly, th the first thing that you need to know is the red one, okay? So the red one is the warm currents, okay? So all these red ones here, such so as Alaska, the Gulf Stream, Norwegian, uh, Brazil, um, and so on, all these red ones are warm currents. The blue one are cold currents, okay, so it makes sense, such as the Canary one, uh, Greenland, California, Peru, and so on. So there are, you've got the warm currents and you've got the cold currents. So really simple, on on um, a map you will always be given, um, if, it's, if, it's, if, it will, if it shows you the colour, you know that it's if it's red it's, it's, it's the warm one and if it's blue it's the cold one. Okay. So, how do these currents, why are some warm and why are some cold? Well, ocean currents are due to the unequal heating of the sea, okay? All currents that are going towards the equator are cold. And all currents that are moving away from the equator are warm. So you can see the Peruvian one is moving towards the equator, the equator lines here. Let me just highlight that. Okay, so we've got the equator here, and all the currents that are moving towards the equator are cold, and then you have all the ones that are moving away from the equator are warm, as you can see this way. Okay, and the other thing you need to know is, in the northern hemisphere, which is this half here, so this is the southern hemisphere, this is the northern hemisphere, all, because of the Earth's rotation, all of the currents um, that are moving from west to east currents are in the northern hemisphere. So if they're moving from the west to the east, they are they're going that way. So from west to east, from west to east, and that's because um, of the Earth's rotation. And it's the opposite in the southern hemisphere. They're all deflected to the left. Okay, so for the junior certificate examination, um, you need to know these ocean currents, okay? But if I was you, I'd focus on uh, these three currents in particular because these three are the ones that tend to come up every year. Well, not every year. Sorry, they come up when they do. Come, when they do ask about ocean currents, these are the currents that they tend to come up most frequently. Okay, so the Labrador, Labrador currents. Okay, so I've done it in blue because it's a cold uh, current, and this this is Labrador current comes down here. Okay, so it affects Greenland and Canada. Um. And this is cold current, uh, which causes temperatures to drop, uh, causing harbours and ports to freeze during the winter months. The reason why they like they probably like to use the Labrador current is because it's it's a cold current which is very close to Ireland. Now we do have another cold current up here, so the Greenland one, but the Labrador current is more um, is more is better well known. So this is the one that they do tend to use. But I would also know the Canary one, um, as well because that is uh, in close proximity to Ireland which is also a cold uh, current. The second one uh, that I'm going to look at is the Gulf Stream. So the Gulf Stream um, passes up the east of uh, America and the Gulf Stream um, is a warm current because it's in red and I've done it in red. And the Gulf Stream ensures that the east of America is kept warm even during the winter months. Okay, The Labrador current makes a uh, Greenland and Canada and even parts of down to like New York keeps it very cold but the Gulf Stream um, below it keeps all of uh, most of the east of America really warm and stops it from freezing. And the last one is the North Atlantic Drift and the North Atlantic Drift is a huge influence on Ireland okay it's a warm current okay I know it has it in black here but it's actually a warm current and it is warm current which passes over the west of Ireland, okay? And this ensures that Ireland's ports are kept ice-free during the winter months. And this is why we don't actually freeze. 
some parts um, of Canada and America up here will actually freeze during the winter months. Even though we're at a higher latitude than, say, like uh, New York and, and some parts of, of East America and, and Canada, we don't, airports don't actually freeze in the west uh, of Ireland because of the, the warm current, which is the North Atlantic Drift. Like I said, you need to know all of these currents, but I would stick to these ones here. The Labrador Current, the Gulf Stream, the North Atlantic Drift, and the Canary one, okay? Um, because these are the ones that tend to come up most frequent. Okay, so that's it for today's tutorial on uh, ocean currents. I hope you enjoyed it and uh, took away something from the, the, the tutorial. If you did, if you liked it, if, you, if it helped you, if you found it beneficial, can you please let me know? Give me some feedback. You can do so by just... Um, uh, leaving a message in the comments in below on YouTube. If you're on YouTube, you can just leave a comment saying how it helped you, or you can also tweet tweet us and let us know. Um, I'd really appreciate if you leave me some feedback and if you subscribe to the YouTube channel. And you can also follow us on Twitter and Instagram at Examvision for you to keep up to date with all our latest news.